Now let's look at the equations we have learned for constant acceleration motion. The equation that gives us position as a function of time is delta x equals to vot plus one half at squared. Since delta x is the final position minus the initial position, that means if I add the initial positions on both sides, I would get the position as a function of time to be, if I add initial position, I will get this plus vot plus one half at squared. So this is the position as a function of time. That means uh, if we want to find the velocity as a function of time, If we want to find the velocity as a function of time, we just have to take the derivative of the position, the time derivative of the position. Now this is a constant. The initial position is a constant. So when we take the derivative, we get zero. And this is a VO is a constant coefficient. The initial velocity is a constant and then times t to the first degree, so times 1, and then we lose 1 degree of power, we get t to the zeros. The 1 half is a constant. Now it's constant acceleration motion, so the acceleration is also a constant. And then we bring down the exponent 2, and then we lose 1 degree of power, t to the first. So we get an equation that is uh, VO, that's 1, VO times 1, plus the 1 half and the 2, they cancel, so we get A times T. Do you remember this equation? V equals VO plus AT. If I want to find the acceleration as a function of time, I have to find the time derivative of the velocity. So we take one more derivative. VO is a constant. So when we take derivative, we get zero. Acceleration is a constant. So we leave the acceleration down here and t to the first degree, that will be one times, lose one degree of power, t to the zeros. So this gives us a a equals to A, which is a constant, so it's the constant acceleration motion. When our acceleration is a constant, that means uh, the acceleration is a zeroth degree equation. And because when we take derivative, we lose one degree of power, that means when we go back up here, the velocity should be a first degree equation. And the position as a function of time should be a second degree equation. So if the position as a function of time is a second degree equation, that means uh, we have constant acceleration motion. Because the second degree equation, first degree equation, zeroth degree equation, and the zeroth degree equation is a constant.